Blade Smith's your first round challenge is to forge a Scottish dirt that falls within the following parameters. The blade must have a single edge along with a false edge that covers at least one third of the spine with decorative file work. In addition to a through tang, you will have three hours in which to forge those blades. Now, on your anvils is a cloth. Go ahead and lift that up. That is 52100 steel that you will use to forge your Scottish dirks. Good luck, bladesmiths. Your three hour starts now. Welding! I've never made a blade out of a three inch ball bearing. I'm going to wait on this until it's almost white on the outside. Then I plan on beating the crap out of that steel. You want that yellow glow when it comes out of the forge before you start hitting it? Yeah. As you're working it, as soon as it starts losing color, back in the forge. This challenge is perfect for this Scotch Irish here. You have 60 minutes remaining to finish your work. Yay! I'm having a blast making this blade. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is awesome. Doran doesn't seem to have a dirt point on his no. blade. He's got a bit of a chopper point on there. This man's using a hammer. Well, that looks like hammer Jonathan and Ben have that dirt look, same with Phil. They all drop to the point. Yes. It really is concerning Doran's. Doesn't look like a dirt. I have minutes to get this thing done. I'm looking at the temperature. I'm looking at the color. I don't know this steel that well. But I have to quench now. There you go. Doran into the fire for a quench. The problem is, if it keeps reigniting, ah. you know it's hot enough to ignite the oil. Put it back in the oil. Ah. It's still red hot. Get it in the oil. Not liking that. I know he's checking red the hardness. The, the thing is still red. I'm not happy. Time's running out. I have to requench. And if that doesn't work, I'm done. Five, four, three, two, one. Bladesmith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. Woo! Hell yeah! This round is over! Bladesmiths, in this first round of competition, each of you made a Scottish dirk, Dave Baker's favorite fighting knife. Now it's time for the judges to examine your work. Ben, you're up first. Please present your blade to the judges. I like how you put your false edge. It's very aggressive in that. It's a very beautiful looking blade. Ben, you got cracks. The crack here at the tang is, is worrisome, which is a critical part of that blade. If you move forward, it's going to have to be addressed. Phil, you're up next. Please present your blade to the judges. When I see a dirk, this is very much the shape I like to see. It's got a very acute point for thrusting, but there's enough mass in that blade for a chop. Bit of a warp in your tang. Other than that, absolutely gorgeous. Doran, you're up. Please present your work to the judges. Well, Doran, you turned in a solid piece. You know, with the 50 to 100, you're always worried about the cracks, but you maintained your heat. And that's one of the things I like about your blade. I do not see any cracks at all. All right. You've got a flat spine, and that rises towards the tip. Most of the dirts drop towards the tip. That's kind of missing in your design. It's not the typical dirk point that I was expecting to see. All right, Jonathan, you're up. Please present your blade to the judges. I like the shape of your blade. It's got that classic dirk shape. It does drop to the front, it has a false edge. But there's some surface cracking on this blade here. It would be nice to see if you can grind them away. But other than that, that's a dirk. Well done. Bladesmiths, the judges' deliberation is complete, and they've made a final decision. Bladesmith leaving the forge is. Ben, your blade didn't make the cut. Doug Marcotte is going to tell you why. Ben, we really like the look and design of your dirk. But you develop cracks at critical junctures of your blade. You had cracks in your spine. You had cracks on your tang that went all the way through. And we just feel that you will not be able to fix that. And for this reason, we're sending you home. Ben, please surrender your blade. I'm absolutely devastated that I'm not moving on to the next round. Thank you. I came out here to prove that I was a great bladesmith. I worked hard. I did everything I felt like I needed to do. But I never messed with 5200, and it is a bitch. 